Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I literally just filmed this whole video and my mic was not connected. I am really sucking at this YouTube thing right now. So just bear with me as I get back into the hang of, you know, being a tuber. So what this video is gonna be is just me talking to you about if I think you should have a host agency or rather why I chose to have a host agency whenever I started my travel business. So today's just gonna be really laid back i'm here with y'all you know in my natural self today is sunday i'm tired it's been a long weekend so i said let me just show up anyway so that you guys can have the content because i'm pretty sure you don't care what i look like you care about what i'm saying so with that being said i'm going to kind of give you a brief overview of what i've got what i've got going on right now and i'm actually leaving town on tuesday um going to a new resort out in mexico so if you guys want to see videos um, on the resort or kind of what the behind the scenes looks like whenever you are a travel agent and going to visit a resort and kind of what I do uh, to help my business um, inside of a vacation, even if I'm taking a vacation. So what that looks like for me is that I've already created a entire master list of the type of shots, videos, content for social media that I wanna take whenever I am gone on vacation. So um, I've already taken care of that. That way you don't forget to take any pictures or make a video that you wanted to do because once you get back home, it will be too late. So with that being said, I've already done that and then I've already created my post saying that I'm gonna be out of office for a few days and I've already scheduled that to go live tomorrow. And so now I just kinda of wanna work on my plan for next year. I feel like there are so many things in my head that I need to do for the business that it's really beneficial to lay out a business plan um, and just kind of how you want the year to look so that you're prepared because when you're going at it like day by day um, and just planning as you go you're not really going to hit your goals that way so i need to really sit down think about my goals and then how i'm going to get there and make sure i align all those things out so that it's clear and i have direction now that's kind of what my day is going to look like so Let's talk about if you should have a host agency or why I chose a host agency. I won't say that, you know, why you should have one, but I'll tell you why I did it in the beginning. So right now I am under a host agency. Um, I'm not independent. I don't own my own travel agency. I work under a host agency. So I use their licenses in order to run my own travel business, like underneath them pretty much. And the reason I chose to do that is because I was brand new. Uh, keep in mind, I only started this business less than a year. We haven't even hit the year mark of when I started my travel business. So yes, I had traveled before, but I was never, um, I, I've never worked in travel. So I didn't know how anything works when it comes to working or running a business inside of the travel industry. So with the host agency, and the reason that I chose one is because they offer, I won't say all, but mine, offers live training. They offer um, on-demand videos that you can log in and watch on the different vendors. Um, there's a ton of education on our website um, for my host agency. So that's one reason that I chose to go with the host agency. Another reason is because if something like there's something that I don't know or say I ran into a big issue and I need to help with it, I have somebody that I can go to. My host agency has First of all, we can really contact anybody um, in the agency and if they know the answer, they will help you, but they have dedicated mentors. So if there's something that I wanted to talk about with the mentor, I could just set up a meeting and meet with her on that. So it's about having the support system and then people that you can go to who truly know the industry. They've been in business for a very long time and that can help you along the way. Another reason um, that I went with my host agency is because I did the research. I was comfortable with their commission split um, and then I also pay a monthly dues as well. Um, and I paid the higher one because I have two agents under me, um, which is just my mom and my sister, but they also have a cheaper option, which is just $20 a month. And that fee is typically for, you know, the things like they manage the website or they host the website and you know, the trainings that you get, all the, all those things, but I don't even use their, um, CRM systems or the website that they offer me. Um, just because I'm not really familiar with uh, WordPress. It's never been something that I've used on a regular basis. So instead of trying to learn a complete new system, 
I chose to go with systems that I'm familiar with. So a lot of things that I use in my business, um, I found that on my own. So it's not enough to just learn from your host. You're gonna have to do your own research. You're gonna have to really get out there and figure out things as far as running the business side of your business if you want it to be successful. Because a lot of the tools that I use, they don't offer, nor do they teach me about it. I found those things on my own. So keep that in mind, even if you do choose to have a host, it's not gonna be like they're gonna walk you through it. It's not. Um, typically it's, well some they may, but typically you're paying them so that you can use their license. They do have training available for you, but you, you are really teaching yourself um, and, and taking the initiative to learn as much as you can. They're not going to um, spoon feed it to you. You got to be willing to go out there and learn it. Now, what I will say, um, you can be independent. You can start out as an independent agency. Um, you would just have to, there's trainings out there. There's um, a couple people who have courses that will teach you how to set up your business from the very beginning of uh, being independent. Now, I've never taken those courses, so I can't tell you what those courses entail, um, but I'll tell you the benefits of being independent. And that's one, the most, <laughs> the highest benefit is that you get all of your commission. There's no split, right? So there's nobody that you have to pay out like your host. You would get all of your commission with all of your bookings. Now, um, something to think about is that you are responsible for everything in your business. And the reason that I'll say that I won't be with a host agency forever is because even though I have a host, I still do my own marketing. I still do my own planning. I, I run my business as if I'm independent. Um, and so with that being said, eventually I will be independent. I will go independent. But, um, and once I go through that process, of course, I will share that with you guys as well. So I hope that gives you some insight into why you could have a host agency or maybe why you shouldn't have an agency. Um, that's really up to you and you just have to do your own research. But if you guys have any questions around that topic, just leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. So with that being said, because I want to, didn't want this video to be just about me um, working today. So I wanted to make sure I give you guys some value. So hopefully, um, that kind of sheds some light on what it means to have a host agency. So today I am going to, I've actually already started my business plan and kind of the key things that I want to hit next year. So now I just need to really narrow it down. And, um, now that I'm also doing YouTube again, I need to also plan those videos as well. So that's what my day is going to look like. Something that I want to do also is that if you are um, already a travel person or you've started your travel agency already, um, I'm thinking about making a video on reviewing Instagram accounts. So just the bio section to make sure that it's optimized and that you're searchable when someone goes onto Instagram and searches for a travel agent. So if you're interested in being fe featured in that when I do it, um, leave your Instagram username in the comments below. That way I could add you to the video. Oh, 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 oh